Hello, this is my newbie bits, and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for a new series that I'm starting up on the channel. In the past, I have found that whenever I make a video that going on some sort of rant, that you guys usually eat it up and have some sort of positive feedback for it. And you always want more, so I've decided to start up a series talking about different things Halo, Halo Clan related, as well as maybe a couple of current events going into some sort of psychotic rant that will be sure to bring hilarity. Now note these rants are going to be partisan to whatever I'm talking about at the time, however these rants are not meant to harm anybody and will not target any individuals or clans and are meant strictly for comedic effect and are to be taken with a grain of salt and without further ado, here is the new series, What Grinds My Newbie Bits. You know what really grinds my newbie bits? That little fucking Metal Guardian statue that came with the Collectors and Legendary Editions of Halo 5. Yes, I got one, and no, I didn't get it put together. And here's why. Along with there being a bunch of tiny ass fucking pieces, those tiny ass pieces were easily bendable and very fucking sharp. I mean, I probably would have had better luck finding a match at MCC launch than putting together this rage inducing model. Every time I went to take a piece off the model sheet, it would either bend or stab me. And I guarantee if I took the time to completely put the model together, my hands would look like they got thrown through a wood chip. Honestly, all they really did was shape razor blades into a shitty looking guardian statue. And that's not what you want to have as one of your selling points on a game. I mean, it's like, hey kids, come and buy Halo 5 Legendary and Collector's Edition and get your free emo starter kit. I mean, it's Christmas time. Think about all those parents that just bought this for their kids. It's kind of like saying, hey little Timmy, for Xmas this year, we got you something really cool. But you have to solve it by putting your hands through a bag of nails. And I understand, yes, the game is rated teen, and the sleeve on the statue comes with a little notification that says 14 plus on it. But if you have good parents who like to spoil you like mine did, they get you all the good violent video games at the ripe old age of two, which for me was Mortal Kombat nigh on 21 years back. And the worst thing parents had to worry about back then was an impressionable kid. And yeah, most of the toys have an age warning on them for small parts around small children because children like to put small toys in their mouth and that could cause a choking hazard. But then again, most game toys don't come with a handful of shiny ass rusty motherfucking razor blades that say, come play with me, I'm related to that fun game you just got. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like Halo because quite frankly, I love Halo to death. All I'm saying is 343 should have invested in plastic models. Sure, they're a little bit more bulky than the metal models, but they would have been cheaper to produce and easier to find a manufacturer to produce them. Ultimately cutting the cost to produce, meaning more profit in your end game. At least with the plastic models, the only thing you need to worry about other than the 14 plus choking hazard is the risk of getting high off model glue and paint. Honestly, with the metal model stabbing me at every wrong move, it was kind of like being a kid in Catholic school, and every time you answer a question wrong, you get whacked across the hands with the yardstick, which is just a big heaping pool of negative reinforcement, which is not what you need when you're A, trying to sell a product specifically to increase profit margins, like you did with the Legendary and Collector's Edition, and B, when you finish a collector's model, like uh, the Guardian model, you are supposed to have this feeling of accomplishment. Like, oh yeah, I just made this complex object out of a bunch of smaller objects. And not an ever-growing pool of blood at your feet. And the obvious need for a tetanus shot. Plus, the Didact is supposed to be dead at this point, and Cortana owns the Guardians, which means the finished product of the Guardians should be silver and blue, and not the current finished product that most people got of silver and red. But on the bright side, anyone with a beard like me or in the emo community can now cancel their $1 a month subscription to the Dollar Shave Club, or now we have all our razor blading needs. And don't forget kids, you can get your free emo starter kit today by going out and purchasing Halo 5 Legendary or Collector's Edition today. That's about all the time for today's episode of What Grinds My Newbie Bits. Mine, this was just a test run of the new series, so I look forward to making longer, more relevant videos to the community in the future. Now, as I stated earlier, these videos are not meant to target any clan or organization or individual within the community, and as such, I will not say names of clans, groups, or individuals 
However, I do plan to cover a lot of broad topics and things within the community causing harm to it or have caused harm to it, which a lot of people may fall into one side or another of the conversation and feel put out by these highly opinionated statements of hilarity. It is then that I would like to remind everyone that the Halo Clan channel will not be taking sides in any war or clan squabbling. These videos will just be used to make one point or another on an issue from an opinionated standpoint interlaced with sarcasm and creative profanity solely for comedic effect. And I realize I may get excitable at times, but please do not do the same with the comment section believing that I am targeting you, your clan, or your group with these videos because chances are if one person's acting a certain way, others are sure to follow in suit. If you enjoyed today's video segment of What Grinds My Newbie Bits, please leave a comment below or maybe hit that subscribe button. Yay, shameless self-promotion out of the way. And well, if you didn't like today's segment of What Grinds My Newbie Bits, well, I suppose you could leave a comment down below too. What the hell, will deconstructive criticism never hurt anybody, well, except for maybe every politician's career in history. If you have a topic in the Halo Clan community that you would like me to cover in an episode of What Grinds My Newbie Bits, no matter how small, please leave a comment below describing the topic but please do not post tags or clan names because I will have to remove your comment if I decide to choose it. Also guys since Forge is now out I know everyone is diligently working on their new badass recruitment videos so please don't forget to fill out the clan of the day application linked below in the description with info about your clan a link to your clan's recruitment video to have your video shown on this channel as clan of the day. There have been over 50 individual clans as Clan of the Day with over 60 plus Clan of the Day videos aired on this channel and we at Halo Clans would be glad to add your clan recruitment videos to those statistics. So feel free to send them in as soon as possible and one last thing before I end this video, a bit of a teaser for those of you keeping track of the new segments on this channel, the Halo Clans managerial staff is working diligently on a fun new segment that we're going to try and get more people involved in the community. Sadly, as of the moment, I cannot share any details as it would spoil it and we don't want any other channel stealing our creative genius. And so sadly, I have to end the video here. This has been my newbie bit CEO of Halo Clans signing off.